Okay, that's dorm number one. I'm very close to it. It should be here on the right. Ooh, ooh, I think it's here. Yep. Bingo. Damn. This place is beautiful. Holy shit. And also has a bunch of zombies in it, apparently. I believe it says I don't have... I think this is a weapons locker, and I think the walkthrough says I don't have the code for it yet. Yeah, you don't have the passcode to it right now. But I do have the passcode to these two hatches. Or at least I have the passcode to one, and I will find the other passcode inside of this room. So let's search this room first. And search these bodies. Nothing. Ooh. Make some more health injector syringes. Simon Fellner, Biolab Operative. Day log, August 8th, 2018, 9.43 p.m. Harrowitz left me in charge of the Kremlin while most of the crew were down in the Necropolis on the final phase of Operation Akarak. I'm sitting here in solitary splendor, talking to myself. But I'm not complaining. Those subterranean chambers give me the spooks. And it's bloody freezing. Just a moment. Updated emergency hatch code coming in 0756. 11.57 p.m. Haraway came in for the flare bolts a while ago. But she only took a couple of them. She couldn't find the flare gun. She told me to stay put. I'm not arguing. The alarm's been going the last ten minutes. Red alert quarantine condition. Bell can't see him. I've been screamed and turned my blood to red ice. And the other sounds. Louder. Unhuman. And the sounds are getting closer. But the Kremlin don't keep on charging mammoth. I'm safe in here. I'm safe. God in heaven. They're coming through the walls. <laughs> that person might have less emotion than Kenzo. Or, nah, he's probably on the same level. Oh my god, they're coming through the walls. It sounds like he just doesn't care at all about anything. He's given up on life. Got some wonderful art here. Doesn't look like I can examine any of it yet. Gremlin power switches. Do a person operation. It'll take two to make these switches tango. Indeed, and I think I remember this is one of the stupidest puzzles in the game. And I think I had to use a walkthrough originally just to figure out how to do it. Because you have two switches and they need to be used very close to each other, but you remember you can't get your teammates together. So how do you solve that? Well, I'm sure we'll both see pretty soon. The power's cut off. Hmm. The power's cut off. That's a really nice view of the outside. Gremlin power switches. Do a person operation. All right, so I need two to make these switches. So I need to press these switches to get the computer up. Get the other one quick, uh, and it's red. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't know there was anyone there.
Personally, I prefer the wistful but charming evanescence of the post-impressionist. Alright, so this is what I used the spectrometer on, which I don't have, and it seems like I can't get yet, and I don't even need it yet, so let's just forget that for now. I'm gonna write a note about that so I don't forget, though. Kremlin... Painting... Spectrometer, whatever it's called. All right, let's open those hatches. This one is either 3471. It is. Okay, four lenses. Um, hold on, do I even need to take these? Somehow you'll have to press both buttons to save time at the same time. Mm hmm. Okay. Hold on, how am I supposed to do this? This can get pretty tricky. It's not mentioning whether I should take these lenses, so for now I'm not going to take them. Hold on, let me see what's in the other one. Ooh, flare bolts. Alright, I just need a flare gun. I believe the flare gun can be used to kill the Trimorphs, I think. So it should allow me to get the spectrometer. Okay, so I need to hit both the switches. So I need to get... I need to get Karn behind the desk so the zombies won't mess with them. It's a safe spot. Alright, safe spot. Now what? If they get too close, they will, they will clump together and it's game over. The switches are too close together. The I can't even talk. The switches are too... Uh, is this really safe? This doesn't look... Uh... Okay, apparently it is safe. <laughs> Only because of a bug in the pathfinding. Okay. You'll have to find a way to hit one of the buttons from a distance. This is where the pop gun comes in handy. Yep. Have the person with a pop gun stand next to the Kremlin door. Change to your second character and carefully position him in front of one of the switches. Now change back to your first character and walk towards the switches. Stop as soon as the view changes. Aim your gun and the point of view should change. Aim and fire, and the second person will automatically hit the other switch. Yeah. It's the most convoluted, stupid, nonsensical shit ever. And it uses gameplay mechanics that didn't exist before, so you have no reason to assume exist. Once again, you have characters doing things automatically when you have no reason to previously assume that they should do anything automatically, because previously you've always controlled them. So, I need to find the pop gun, which I believe is stored in one of the hatches. Okay, hold on. Reading this through, I gotta get this straight. Okay, let's do this. So, where's the pop gun? Let's find out. Please tell me I stored it in a hatch. Park Lane Storage Hatch. Pop 
Park Lane Storage Hatch. Park Lane, Park Lane. Okay, got it. Um, who should I have to do this? Let's have Matlock. Well, eh. No, I'm gonna have Kenzo do this. Because Matlock is in a place where I can save the game, and I want to do that before I try to get the two characters close together. That's Park Lane Hatch. No, it can't be. Okay, I think I actually know where to go. Amazingly. It's not often... It's not often that I do. Quickly, before... Uh, it's coming! Go, 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 go! Okay. Those stupid things will poison you, and it's so obnoxious. Yeah, I need to go through here. Okay. Corridor nicknamed Inokashira Dori. Named after a road in Tokyo. Fun facts from Kenzo. Second edition. Wait a minute, is it? Whoops. No, oh, put it down. Is there a hatch here? No. Okay. It's a little bit further. Okay, here should be the hatch, yes. And there is the lovely pop gun. Karn's got the best aim. Ah, who cares? Get I I assume it comes with ammo, right? I that sounds like a railgun shooting, but okay. I guess it's good to go. Fuck if I know. Okay. Right, so now I'm on Park Lane. I need to go up. Up and over. Okay, that deals with that. Did I take a right? Yes, take a right. Nice. Shot him point blank and he didn't even feel it. there. Here we go. Okay. Very quickly, I'm going to save it. Don't remember what save I'm on. I'm going to go 25. Okay. Hold on.
Have the person with the popgun stand next to the Kremlin door. Change to your second character and carefully position him in front of one of the switches. Okay, I think I got it. Right, so he needs to be here. You need to move him to one of the switches. Hold on, I think I need to take care of this character. NPC, I mean. Okay. And... Oh, hi! Stupidest puzzle in... Well, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't go that far. One of the stupidest puzzles in this entire game. As if it couldn't get any dumber. It sounds like it needs ammo. Does it? Does it actually need ammo? Don't tell me it fucking needs ammo. Do I need ammo for this thing and I don't have it? Did I did I already find it or do I need to find it? Don't tell me I need to find it, game. Please don't do that to me. The walkthrough didn't mention anything about ammo, but maybe they just assumed you'd have it. Okay, actually, no, hold on. I think I might just need to move closer. Oh, oh, yep, here we go, here we go. Huh? Huh? Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three! Now that is the best puzzle ever made. Alright, now I gotta get him to safety. Actually, hold on. Let me get this character to safety. Now let's get Kenzo back to safety. Wait, this is... That's the wrong way. Yeah, this is the right way. Let's get him back to the mood chamber. Let me make sure no one's poisoned. Nope, no one's poisoned. I don't want to just accidentally kill over dead. Because that kind of blows, as I experienced with Karn. At least I think that was one of the characters killing over dead from poisoning. I don't actually know. message here sent months ago is for me for me how would anyone know I'm even coming okay people I've received a message from the underground the resistance with all we've been through together I reckon it's time to come clean Judith and me joined up with the underground five years back I've been undermining Earth Control's operations from the inside. I don't know how much you've learned or guessed about the Thule program, but what I've seen up here confirms what a lot of people thought. Thule is a program of psionic warfare, 
and the experiences the Vita base crew reported convinced Allenby that Mars was the source of an ancient psychic power. If that power were harnessed, it could be used as a weapon against potential enemies. Maybe you got the idea that Thule stood for some form of bacterial warfare, an alien bioweapon. I knew it couldn't be bacterial warfare research. That would be a complete waste of time. Even at the end of the 20th century, there were enough bacteriological weapons in existence to wipe out the Earth ten times over. Why look for more? But psychic warfare, the potential to control your enemy's minds, that surprise Earth control would give the moon for, literally. But I'll tell you what, Carl. As of now, you can consider me the latest recruit to the underground, as Rodine-educated girls are all rebels anyway. What about you, Kenzo? Okay. I'm glad you're with me. Now let's try sticking the evils back in Pandora's box. That can't be done, you know. I know. But let's try. Well, I guess that's supposed to be surprising that he's part of the Resistance, but it's really not. And I don't even care. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, for Martin Karn, from those underground rebels that Earth Control hates so much, Here's hoping you're managing to solve the mystery of Alan B's Thool program. Good luck. You may not know the password to the mining site elevator. The open sesame word is Erebus. Mine elevator. Erebus. From one rebel to another. Chia? Chi? I'm not exactly sure what that says. The last letter is kind of all smeary. Okay. Uh, the printout. That's the one I already have. I just read, right? Erebus. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, guess what time it is. If you thought that puzzle was stupid, wait for this one. We need to go get the flare gun. Okay, need to do some prep. The flare gun is behind the airlock at that bloody door right next to the med bay that Matlock has access to. So before I do this, I need the Scarab, which he has, the Book of Egypt, which I think I missed, and I think I know where it is, roughly, and the regular screwdriver, not electric. Okay. Who has the regular screwdriver? She has the electronic one. Oh, wait, no, 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 he has the electronic one, she has the regular one, okay, and the scarab, okay, so the only thing she, only thing she needs is the book. Alright. Um, I remember there was a zombie with a book in its lap. Somewhere. It's somewhere in these hallways, I don't exactly remember where. Hey, I just realized this zombie kind of looks like the Joker. Alright, so I know it's in these hallways, so let's go exploring. Alright, the way back. Nope, that's the locked door. That goes to Matlock, so I need to go left. Nope, not in there. Definitely not in there. It was not a named door. It wasn't a dorm. Alright, somewhere around here. Nope, nope, not this way. Okay, it's somewhere this way. I believe this is the bathroom? Yep. I want to say it's down here. I think it is down here. In fact, I think it's in here. Nope, oh, never mind. Wrong place.
Okay, I think it's here from the left. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in here. Yep. Are right, there's a book over... Oh, here we go. Take book. Yeah, I guess when the zombie got up, the book fell off its lap. Why you couldn't just take it from its lap? Who the fuck knows? The Lords of Egypt. Why should a walking dead man be reading this, or any other book for that matter? There's a word underlined here. Capri. Worth keeping in mind. Oh, yes. All right, I've got to get this to Matlock, and then we're good to go. Get him in a safe place. Somewhere. Where the hell is a safe place anymore? God. Oh, you two must be identical twins. Actually, I know exactly where a safe place is and very close by. Alright, that zombie's invisible. That's cool. Right here. Nice and safe. Alright, we've got everything we need. Or, we're about to have everything we need. Now we have everything we need. Let's go to Med Bay. Hold on, doesn't this, do you have herbs? Yeah, you have an herb on you. Let's process that while we're here. Clear up some inventory space. Let's also save it right before we start messing with the Trimorph. I give the chemical extractor one thumbs up. Actually, do I even need it? Uh, might as well take a couple. Oh, wait, no, no, oh, shit, wow, I don't need health, no, never mind, I was looking at Toxin. Now I have 12, holy shit. Whatever. Alright, save the game, I believe I was on 25. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Now, here's what the walkthrough states. I'm going to go to the menu so I don't have to listen to screams. The walkthrough says, If you thought the last puzzle was tricky, you haven't seen anything yet. This is going to sound pretty crazy, but hear me out. There's a flare gun inside airlock number two, which you'll need to get before heading down to the necropolis. If you haven't figured it out yet, there's also uh, a trimorph behind this door. This is going to be one of the toughest puzzles in the game, so it'll, I'll break it down into two parts. Or, no, into parts. <coughs> Excuse me. Your first, first goal will be to lure the Trimorph out of the airlock. Make sure you have the Scarab, the Book of Egypt, and the regular screwdriver, not electric, before attempting this. Repair the control panel with the screwdriver, and the bloody door will open automatically. You'll be standing face-to-face -face with the Trimorph. It'll take the Trimorph a few seconds to react, so run back to MedLab. That is step number one. Let's, uh... 
Let's face right here. That way I can directly turn around like this. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Okay, okay. I had to use an ordinary screwdriver for ordinary screws. Did you repair it? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm stuck. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Oh my god. And this one I actually have to solve, unlike the Karn door thing where I don't need to get it open. What the fuck? Uh, if I... Am I fucked? Is this the end of the game for me? I mean, it's probably just going to do the same thing when I come back, right? Be right back. Alright, let's try this again, although I'm pretty damn sure it's going to do the exact same thing. Let's stand in a different area. Maybe it'll change something. Please? Okay, okay. I had to use an order. I'm just mashing buttons to see if I can change something. Well, now I can access the menu, but that's it. Oh my god. I don't think I can finish this game. I'm fucked. The game is fucked. It's fucking broken. Okay, I'm gonna do some searching around, see if there's a patch for this game, maybe this is a known issue, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Um, I just noticed something very strange. I didn't look up any solutions because I think this might fix it, we'll see. Um, I closed the game once again, closed the window, however, I looked at my task manager and realized that even though the window was gone from my taskbar, the process for Martian Gothic hadn't actually been shutting down. I had three processes for Martian Gothic running each one using up 25% of my CPU, because, of course, it's a single core game, so it was using up as much of one core as it could. So, yeah, whatever was fucking up originally caused each of the processes to get stuck at using a maximum amount of CPU that it could. It's like stuck in a loop or something. So I forced shut all of them down, and maybe that'll fix the issue? Let's hope. Please? Please? Please, game? Okay, okay. I had to use an ordinary screwdriver for ordinary screws. Please? God damn it. It's stuck in some sort of a fucking loop. Maxing out my CPU on one core. Alright, be right back. Okay, I searched the internet for Martian Gothic Unification patches and found there is something called Patch 3? I couldn't find any mention of Patch 1 or 2 or anything like that. But it's called Patch 3, downloaded it from GameSpot, I think, I also found it on, like, File Planet. Unfortunately, though, none of them had a readme explaining what it fixed, or saying whether previous saves were even compatible with the patch. So, yeah, I ran this shady exe, which looked like it entered a command prompt and updated the files for the game. And let's hope it works. Let's hope my saves work. Let's find out. Okay, that's a good sign. Good sign indeed. My inventory is there. Please, please fucking work. Please. I've come so far in this game. And I've gotten so frustrated. But if I'm unable to finish, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Okay, okay. I had to use an ordinary screwdriver for ordinary screws. Please? Yes! Yes! The patch fucking fixed it! Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think I may have failed that. Okay, so I'm guessing I can probably unweld that door now. Or cut through it. 
So yeah, a note to anyone playing. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to play this game, but if you are, install the patch. Let's try that again. Okay, okay. I had to use an ordinary screwdriver for ordinary screws. Oh, bugger. Okay. Alright, that was step number one. Okay, run back to MedLab, that's where I'm at. This Trimorph is actually pretty stupid. So you should be able to take advantage of it. He'll just sit in the decontamination chamber until you make the first move. Exit the lab, take a few steps towards the hallway. And then quickly run up against the med lab door. Don't go inside. If done properly, the Trimorph will run right past you and keep on going all the way to the blue door before returning. Use this opportunity to quickly sneak inside the airlock. Alright, step number two. Okay. Now, hold on. You managed to get inside airlock too, great. But where's my flare gun? Sorry, but you'll have to do a couple more things first. Check out the door at the back of the room. Oh wait, I think I need to go inside. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, close, close, thank you. I believe I'm safe in here? Okay, I'm safe. So yes, if I remember right, this is possibly even stupider than the last big puzzle I did with the pop gun. Alright. Check out the door at the back of the room. This is the door that Muir was referring to on his micro recorder. He said it was special because he needed a voice command to open it. Put the scarab in the door, and then use the book with the door. Your character will say Capri, and you'll have about ten seconds to get out of the airlock. The Trimorph knows you're inside the airlock and is trying to get in. Run up... <laughs> Run up next to the exit and position yourself just to the left of the door. As long as you don't stand directly in front of the door, you should be fine. Wait, what? Open the door, the trimor the Trimorph will run right past you again, and quickly run back into the decontamination chamber. The door will close and the Trimorph will be trapped inside airlock 2. The door of the scar Scarab will open and the Trimorph is sucked outside. What? Uh... Okay, I think um I'm confused. Wait, no, I think I can get it. I need to stand here. I need to do the door thing, stand here, let the trimorph run past me, then get back in the decontamination chamber. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to know to do that? You basically need a walkthrough to solve this puzzle, because that doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you assume that by standing next to the door, the trimorph will run past you? How could you possibly know that? Alright, well, let's see what's in here. Looks like nothing. So, let's get the show on the road. Okay, the scarab thing is in the door, and then we need to recite some words. Capri, our airlock door will open in five seconds. Wait, I thought it was ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Door opening. There we go. Adios, Trimorph. So to reiterate what just happened, you need a regular screwdriver, not an electronic screwdriver, whatever that is, to close this panel or whatever. You need a scarab and you need a book. You need to open the control panel, run into the med lab, and then you need to go out into the hallway just a, sl a couple steps, because the Trimorph is incredibly stupid for some reason and runs past you as if it's blind. And then you run into the decontamination chamber. Then you run into here. And then you put the scarab in the door, you recite the words, you have five seconds, you get next to the door, 
which somehow you magically know the Trimorph will be right on the other side and will come in and ignore you, and then you run into the decontamination chamber with about one second to spare, and then the airlock blows. And why are you doing this, do you ask? To get the flare gun? The flare gun that you don't know exists until after you blow the airlock open? Yeah. Great puzzle, guys. Good job. How do I even know that this place sealed up again? I mean, obviously it did because I'm alive, but why would I even assume that? <sighs> oh look, is that the flare gun? There's the flare gun. Why is it there now? Who the fuck knows? Well, was it under the suit and now the suit moved because of the air? So why didn't you just move the suit to begin with and not blow the fucking... Uh, whatever. Whatever. Alright, well now I've got a flare gun, which I believe can be used to kill the Trimorphs. But, I'm not the one with the flare ammo. Karn has the flare ammo. Let's put that up there. Let's grab that ammo, and then let's figure out what the hell we need to do next. Now that I have the flare gun, I suppose I could do two things. I could kill that thing in one of the dorm rooms to get this spectrometer. And I can kill the Trimorph guarding the Necropolis uh, elevator. I think I want to just get the spectrometer thing over with, so I might do that. Oh, wait, it, don't, oh, it only put in 16. Well, whatever, I'm sure that's going to be enough. So let's see what the walkthrough says to do next. Yeah, you can do one of several things now. There are three more Trimorphs on Vita Base that you can kill right now. There's the one trapped by the Shuttle Bay. There's the one trapped by the Shuttle Bay, which gives you a tissue sample, used later. Ooh, okay. There's the one in door number three that's guarding the spectrometer and blocking your route to the Sayonara. And then there's the one guarding the elevator that leads down to the Necropolis. Doesn't matter what order you choose. Alright, well, I'm just going to follow what the walkthrough does, and the first thing it mentions is to... Getting the Sayonara, and going to dorm number three. So let's do that. Alright, let's give it to Kenzo, and Kenzo is going to be the man of the day. For now. He's going to be all badass with his flare gun. Well, I do have the Diabolus now, so dealing with the crowds of zombies should be a lot easier near that dorm. Shit. Um... Why do I have 3,820... Eight shots of the Diabolus? Did it multiply in my inventory? Okay. Hold on, I think there might be a storage compartment. Yes, there is. Alright, let's shove some shit in here. Don't need the pop gun anymore, I hope. I don't think I need the baby bug anymore, honestly. Well, okay, what do I not need? Got a Dillinger, I have almost no ammo for it. I don't need the nails, because I don't have a nail gun. And I don't want it. Do I even have a Piccolo? See, so I have the Dillinger? Diabolus? No, I don't even have a Piccolo anymore, so alright, get rid of that. Screw that, I'll make do with the Dillinger and the Diabolus. I don't, I really don't think I need these 
tags anymore, but just in case, I'm gonna keep them. Nah, you know what? Fuck it. Three and four. I don't think I need that anymore. Do I? Three, four... Uh, I... Ah, oh shit, I might. I don't need three, because I've opened that, but I might need four. So hold on. Because four is that colorless door that I can't seem to open. So yeah, I might need that. Alright, let's go. Dead man's walk. Wait a minute, which way do I go? Is this the right way? Goes to number four. No, this is... No, that is not the right way. I can't open this. I still can't open this, right? Green tag required. Right tag. Nope. That is very satisfying. Whoops. Wakey, wakey. Hold on, let's wait for the other one to wake up. Let's be polite. Now, let's save it before we attempt this. I think I have, like, one save point left on this. Yep. Don't know what save I'm on. What the hell, let's go 30. I think it's way too high, but... Don't want to risk a conflict. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Dispose of the Trimorph and use the buggy with the checker to grab the spectrometer. If you haven't already. Wait, you mean I can't just pick it up by hand? I do have it, don't I? Alright, good. I, I do still have it. Okay. It just says, kill the Trimorph with the flare gun, so I don't actually know how powerful this is or exactly how it works. But apparently the flare gun holds four shots? What? I thought flare guns used one cartridge. Whatever. Here we go. Come on. Okay, you know what? It's probably over there, so I'm just gonna shoot. Uh... Why does a flare gun seem to be a rocket launcher? Okay. The flare gun is a rocket launcher. Wait, it kills it in one hit? Are you kidding me? Why would a flare gun explode and... Why is that zombie a ghost? Okay, now it's not a ghost. Um... Okay. Sure, why not? Didn't mean to open the door. And to search the body. Ah, yes. Nail gun and nails? Nope. And an alarm is going off. I will be right back. And we're back. Uh, if you hear any clicking and clacking in the background, that's just something banging around in the dryer, so don't pay it any mind. Alright, let's go get the Sayonara. Apparently, this storeroom one key is what you use to get the Sayonara. So there's something in here somewhere that it will unlock.
It's apparently a locked door. Need the key to unlock it. What do you know? Bingo, I already had the key. I just didn't know this was a storeroom. Okay. I am inside of the wall. All right, we've got a crank. I'm guessing that's probably used for the elevator to get down to the necropolis, maybe? And we've got a metal case, and the password to this is apparently the password on my watch. Why is that? Who the hell knows? It doesn't make any sense. Sayonara! And a Scion Cell. I believe I'm the only person who can use this. Alright, so how does it work? And is this a locker? No, is it? Is that it? Let me look at the walkthrough. Yep, it's a form of psychic weaponry that only Kenzo can use. The Sayonara has incredible one-shot knockdown power and can even pierce through multiple enemies. The downside is that it drains your health with every shot. A very small amount, though. It takes a little while to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, this will be your weapon of choice. Ooh. Oh, shit, wow. Okay, apparently the crank... ...is... ...used to open the door at the end of Lonely Street. Okay. Wait, do I have to load this thing? What's a Scion Cell for? A Scion Cell for a Scionar weapon. It packs a lot of power, but it won't last forever. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. All right, let's go use the crank. Okay, how much health do I have right now? Almost max? Holy shit, that sounded awesome. Uh, huh. That, that did use up a bit of health. And I only have one health boost. It does seem awesome, though. Alright, I'm going to keep using it for a little bit. Alright, which way goes to Lonely Street? Hi! Uh... Okay, that one didn't fire for some reason. Uh, that does use up a significant amount of ammo. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go back to the Dillinger. Okay, no, that is not where I want to go. I think Lonely Street is back where that zombie tried to shoot me. The one I disarmed. Ah, this way. Damn, I'm getting lucky with these shots. I think I already opened this yet. Lonely Street Hatch. <clears throat> Alright, Crank should open this door. Okay, so yeah, this just loops around so it's just easier to travel. So, back to the walkthrough. Since that's all you need to do in the dormitory... Oh, shit, wait. Wait, 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 I never got the, uh... I totally forgot. The crank won't work from this side. God damn it, I totally forgot to get the spectrometer. Hold on. Alright, now it's time to use the Sayonara. Because fuck these zombies. I didn't even hit it. God damn it. Well, 
Well, I do have a bunch of, uh... Bunch of med hypos, so... It's not really gonna be an issue, I guess. I mean, they're not on Kenzo, but I have them. They'd be easy enough to transfer. Good morning. Okay. Now, how much am I hurt? Ugh, quite a bit. But... I think if I used a health hypo right now, it'd be a waste. So let's get the damn spectrometer. Oh shit, it's got two shots. Let's use the Diabolus, which I have 3,684 bursts for. Don't know how that happened. Must have been some sort of an inventory multiplying bug, because there's no way I picked up that much ammo. Maybe it was a giant mouse. Really, Kenzo? Really? Maybe it was a giant mouse. Maybe you're fucking stupid. Right, so apparently this big gash is far too big for me to go into. So I need to use this. Which I'm assuming now that I have the patch will actually work. Please. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I need to, like, stay on top of it? Do I need to, like, leave it there? Maybe it was a giant mouse. I don't get it. Do you have to, like, do it at a perfect angle? <sighs> Maybe I need to re-put the checkers inside of it now that I've installed the patch? A magnetic checker. Yep, it's magnetic. It's magnetic, all right. <sighs> I don't believe I actually need it yet. Maybe I could just use the freaking walkthrough to get the password that I need. Like, I don't know if it's the sort of game where everything's tightly scripted. You know, like, if you don't find the note that gives you the key code, you can't actually use it in the game. Or if it's the kind where you can just, if you have the code, you can just do it right then and there. But, yeah, this is fucked. Dispose of the Trimorph and use the buggy with the checker to grab the spectrometer. That's what it says to do. Hmm. Alright, fuck it. Let's get out of here. I'm safe here, but I think I'm supposed to get him back to the mood chamber.
While I'm at it, why don't I get the Sayonara gun? I mean, not sorry, not the Sayonara, the flare gun to someone who can use it. And let's get back to the Moo Chamber. Well, I have essentially unlimited ammunition for that, so I guess there's no reason to be stingy. I could do one of two things. I could either go get the tissue sample with the Trimorph. Or is it four things? Hold on. I mean, the walkthrough tells me to... The next thing to do is to go down to the Metro ne Necropolis. But I feel like getting the tissue sample. Alright, the tissue sample is down in Penny Lane. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, yeah, let's go get let's go get the tissue sample. Wait a minute, what do I get the tissue sample with? Don't I need the laser scalpel? I'm assuming I need the laser scalpel. Put that in there. I don't think I need it yet. You should have the laser scalpel. Yep. Oh, wait. Need to take everything first. You know, I kind of want to see if that bug was fixed with the door. Fuck it, I'm going to do that. Alright, she's got the flare gun. Let's do that. Let's burn a save. I think I think I'm out of saves on this computer, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go save on another computer and then let's try to laser scalpel that door. I really want to get that open, that'll make it a lot more convenient. Alright, I should still have the laser scalpel, yep. Let's go do that. Alright. Alright. I need to go. Need to go... This way, I think. Is it this way? I'm not certain. I think it is. No, no, this is wrong. Actually, I might as well get the tissue sample, right? I mean, I have the laser scalpel. No, 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 no. This is wrong. I, 
Ah, fuck, I'm getting confused. I think this is the right way. This door? This one? Right? Yes. Okay. Please tell me the patch fixed this. Please. 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 Okay, it did. Alright. I know, that leads to Matlock. Is there a tube in here? Yes, there is. Alright. Let's deal with the Trimorph. 